everything is I'm okay. I'm sorry for the technical problem. It, it uh, took me a while to get inside. Yeah. Good afternoon, Bangladesh. Very this is good process. afternoon. <laughs> Hi, Shobham. How are you today? Hi, Perry. Uh, good afternoon from all across Bangladesh. I'm doing well. It's a pleasure to be with you today. In the Thank you for your lovely video you sent to me this morning about the roof garden. I loved it. So oh, nice. Well, thank you so much. It's so nice. So here we are, two multi-potentialites again. And um, I'm super excited, Shobham, because, you know, it's, it's for me amazing to be in contact with you. You're all the way in Bangladesh. We spoke already yesterday. Yeah. It's so nice. You know, we, we, here we are, two people on the planet, and we're connected throughout the fact that we give ourselves the title of multipotentialite. How weird is that? Nobody is <laughs> saying to us, like, we have been testing you, uh, you've been to the hospital or whatever, or we did an MRI of your brain. We, we give ourselves this title and yeah. we fill it in in linkedin and this is how we connect it and here yes. we are we're talking to each other from brussels in which city in bangladesh are you uh i'm in the capital of bangladesh called dhaka okay yeah and and here we are you know and and immediately yesterday and you're yeah. 26 i'm 44 mm -hmm. and <laughs> and it's immediately it there is a connection because Although we have, of course, a lot of cultural differences, me being from Europe, you being from Bangladesh, and still it doesn't matter. And we give ourselves this title. <laughs> Nobody is saying to us like, oh, you're a multipotentialite. We find out ourselves. We give that to ourselves. We find each other. And I love it. I'm, I'm always super happy about that. Um, so I was very, and I'm very excited to interview to you today and to find out more about you because I think you have an amazing life. You do so many things, of course, as a multipotentialite. And <laughs> um, so I was thinking yesterday yeah. that I love to be in a high, you know, that I'm, that everything is working out for me. So when I'm in a sort, a certain high, I'm really in the now. I can feel everything and my brain is going nuts. It's like my computer processor is in optima form. It's, it's, it's doing it. It's on the highest of its speed. Right? Yeah. How does that work? Do you, do you have the same thing that you well, really uh, love that kind of high? Just to share with you, Perry, yesterday I was, the, uh, I I was going through a high energy drive when I was uh, having a conversation with you because it's kind of like an interesting, interesting story behind uh, us coming to the same platform because, uh, uh, as I was saying, I never knew Perry existed in this world. Perry did, didn't even knew Sohan existed in this world. And just, a, uh, just for the sake of a social media platform and just by a thing called internet, now we are uh, sitting to the two ends of the world and having a discussion. So yeah. just by thinking of that story, it, it, it excites me uh, in a lot of way. And um, I'm very much interested to uh, share some of the information with you. And uh, yes, so far, so far I'm looking forward. And, and Shopan, you, you told me that you love to be in front of a big crowd. Yeah, you're a public yeah. speaker. And yeah. Is this a moment when you have to address a few hundred people? Is this the moment you get into your high? Is this when you're, when you're feeling your outmost, your best, so connected, so in the now? Is that yeah. always the case? And, and how, does that, how does that work? Is it very simple? You just stand in front of a, a, a huge audience and you get that feeling? Or... Are you developing that feeling knowing that you're going to be instead of a big crowd? Uh -huh. 
Well, uh, Perry, it's, it's always exciting for when you are connected somehow with your passion and can collaborate it in your daily life. And this thing turns out to become a beautiful thing at the end of the day. So uh, uh, as you are also a public speaker, so uh, it's always interesting and exciting to get connected with thousands of people at a singular time. And this mm -hmm. is something like every time I do it, I have been doing public speaking or uh, addressing to a large crowd ever since I can remember since the last uh, five to six years. So it's a, it's a regular practice, but even still of this day, if I go to a public event tomorrow, be, just before getting onto the stage, I get butterflies in my stomach and of my course. heart is yeah. pushing and pumping. And then like all the other public speakers, you just take a deep breath in. You just uh, simply focus on the crowd. You just simply focus on the ideas that you're about to articulate and represent. And then all of a sudden, all those butterflies goes away and you like, and you suddenly become this uh, ener energy filled person who can take on anyone. And then you give an awesome presentation, awesome session. And at the end of the day, when the crowd claps for you, and that's the moment you realize that your passion is working and clicking. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's an amazing feeling, right? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. But I also have that when, I, when I'm all by myself behind my laptop and I'm thinking about creating new things and combining wow. things or drawing or making pictures, I can have the exact same feeling as standing in front of a large crowd. And it's, it's, it's almost like it's, it's something strange happening in your brain. And I'm wondering if this is what it's like to be a multi-potentialite or does everybody has that? And we have that even more because we have so many different interests. Yeah. I'm wondering how that works. But you have clearly have the same thing. So do you also have, because you work at an, at an internet bank, so to speak, as well, yeah. uh, when you're behind your laptop or your desktop, can you have the same feeling as you have in front of a big crowd? Well, uh, just to differentiate, of course not, of course not. But um, I just want to, uh, I just want to uh, share this story with you uh, because... Uh, this is a uh, this is a biggest research that has been done on human civilization, I guess. So a lot of the people in that particular research, a lot of the people were asked that uh, what do they fear most of. So they uh, they needed to uh, categorize from the highest peak to the lowest one, lowest point. So interestingly, after that research, the conclusion was death, which seemingly needed to become the most dreadful one, is on the second list. And the first one was addressing to a large crowd. It's public speaking. It's, it's standing in front of the people and then can then talking. So as, uh, as a human being, most of the people are dreadful about the fact of, hey, I'm, I'm standing in front of a stage. I need to address a large crowd need to deliver my presentation. And that's the moment a lot of the people fail. So public speaking is indeed a very unique thing. And those are the people who get connected, I'm, I'm sure, all of the people goes through a unique experience and excitement. Mm -hmm. And uh, coming back to your question, Perry, I am working in one, uh, in one of the largest uh, mobile financial service company called Bikash. Bikash is uh, leading Bangladesh in terms of this particular industry. So we get to do financial regular transactions and sorts of banking, uh, banking activities through just mobile wallet. And of course, when I'm working in my office space, I get a different source of uh, energy and this source of feeling. But most importantly, when I stand in front of the crowd at my, some of my sessions, this is something, some feeling which can never be compared. That's a different feeling then. Yeah. <laughs> not even oh, interestingly, I... my wife might be watching this, not even interestingly, not even, uh, the excitement level that I felt, it might not be compared to my, the day that I got married. <laughs> 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 okay so we have different levels of being in the now and being excited and 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 um, being connected in your own brain and in your own feelings with your own body and mm -hmm. for you number one is public speaking when you're in front yeah. of the crowd this is heaven for you 
right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I will I was turn into yeah. a complete different human, complete different human. The other day, yeah. I was telling, sharing the story with my wife. Uh, since uh, since the day I was a student, when I still first, I still remember my first presentation. When I stepped forward, I had all the craziness inside my head. But once I started to open my mouth and started to see that I could actually connect, this this uh, uh, after the session, I was like, okay, uh, what did I do for since the last? 10 minutes. I can't remember. <laughs> I remember so well the first time I worked at an office yeah. and I had to be uh, cold calling people, right? Headset on, just dial yeah. a number and try to yeah. sell something. <laughs> Horrible. And, <laughs> and I wanted to have the same feeling as standing in front of a crowd, but you're on the phone yeah. with someone and you're calling that person, that person is not happy that you're calling them. So I remember that I placed a mirror in front of me. I was wearing bright yellow pants, crazy stuff, and I was standing on my chair just to get into that flow of, you know, standing in front of a, a, a crowd because that made me so aware and connected so I could have better phone calls with people who weren't happy to have me on the phone in the first place. Yeah. Anyway, so um, I know the feel. <laughs> you know the feeling, right? So I'm, I'm, super, I'm super curious. <clears throat> you're being in Bangladesh, you're a multi-potentialite. You find out yourself that you're a multi-potentialite. Um, do you have many friends that have the same thing? Are they also multi-potentialite? How... Is it, is it something that is um, uh, very common in Bangladesh that people of your uh -huh. age know that there is something that is called multipotentialite of polymath or whatever? Is that something that is aware at your country right now? Or yeah. are you the so, only one? So, uh, no, of course, of course not. Of course not. I'm, I'm probably the, one, of the, one of the thousands of millions of people in Bar mm -hmm. here in Bangladesh, but uh, uh, next time when I will be sharing this to my uh, timeline, a lot of the people are going to watch this uh, interview. So this, I, at first stage, I want to commend and appreciate your initiative because uh, if it weren't for you, this uh, multi-potentialite word wouldn't have, uh, you know, marketable or uh, yeah. awareness building. So. Mm -hmm. uh, Multipotentialite in terms of Bangladesh, there are thousands of people, but most interestingly, not a lot of them uh, are familiar with this particular term. Uh, since this is a very new genre of word, uh, yeah. if I'm not wrong, it still hasn't been added to the English dictionary version. It's still on the process. No. Yeah. Uh, last, even, even in last day when I was uh, writing this multipotentialite in Word, Microsoft Word, it, it showed that it's an incorrect word. Bill Gates so, doesn't know yet. Bill Gates has no <laughs> idea yet. We have to tell him. <laughs> he, he's one of the multi-potentialites too, from my point of view as well. <laughs> so uh, Same as in, Steve yeah. Jobs, Bill Gates, yeah. Elon Musk. Yeah. We, a lot of yeah. these amazing people that do so many things are multi-potentialites. Yeah. yeah, please go on. And uh, in terms of Bangladesh, there are a lot of people doing a lot of fantastic job, tremendous job in terms of working on several projects for sustainable development, environmental, addressing environmental crisis in Bangladesh. As you know, uh, uh, Bangladesh is just in the Bay of, uh, right corner of Bay of Bengal. So uh, just to address you, just yesterday, one of the, uh, one of the devastating tornado passed all above Bangladesh. Thank God uh, there wasn't so much devastation. So uh, Bangladesh as a country is faced up with a lot of problems. So there are a lot of young people like me working on different sorts of projects, uh, contributing to the betterment of the world, to the country, and contributing to their own self-development. Yeah. So yes, there are, uh, at the conclusion, I would say there are a lot of people, the number is huge, but unfortunately, they don't they even no know idea. what multipotential light is. So it, uh, to my sense, it needs awareness. So awareness, and you yeah. can do that. And you're a public speaker, you love that. So yeah. Yeah. you can share this with everyone in Bangladesh. And, but you know, what's in it for them? So it, it helped me a lot to understand that the craziness that I have in my life has a label 
And for some odd reason, we need to use that label from time to time to explain ourselves to people who don't understand us. So this, this is what helped me. What is it that helped you since you found out there is a label for your us, 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 us community, us community <laughs> your uh, willingness to do so many things? You know, what did it bring to you? Yeah, so uh, just, just sharing a story with you. A couple of um, years ago, when I just started my corporate career, uh, one of my interviewers was checking my resume. Uh, and uh, most in interestingly and most uh, surprisingly, I didn't got selected for my first, inter first interview or the first company that I interviewed for. And uh, you know why? Because uh, the interviewer thought, hey, this guy is full of activities. He has been doing a lot of things. This uh, guy loves to be on the flashlight since he loves public speaking and stand in front of the stage. So probably this guy might not be my right fit. Even though having a good profile or a good resume, I didn't qualify. So <laughs> that was the time I did, that was the time I realized, hey, maybe something was actually wrong with something that I have been doing, or maybe I have been perceiving. Later on. Later on, I was researching about this, uh, that uh, there, is a, there is a very famous term called Jack of Trades, Master of None. So I was one fine day, I, I was just scrolling towards, towards this incident and I came across the multi-potential life work. And suddenly, for just on, you know, you have those uh, particular moments in your life where you feel like it just clicked, something just uh, popped out. No, I don't head. know that feeling, no. No, I, no I idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. This, uh, this I went through. I just suddenly clicked uh, seeing the word multipotential light because it, uh, it took my attention and I researched and say and I came to a conclusion that hey, this is one particular word that can describe me because I am involved in a lot of things. I am doing a lot of activities apart from my regular life. And uh, till now, if people uh, would ask me that hey, so what do you do? So I didn't have a particular phrase to say that, we, look, I, I am this. I had to go yeah. through exploration. I, I do this. I do a corporate job. I, do, I attend sessions. I go for teaching. I do video editing. No. So it, it took me a while to make people realize and understand. But now it's perfectly seeming very normal. And so okay. did you use the, the, the word multipotentialite in your next interview? Did you, uh, is it in your resume? Did you tell the interviewer, hey, I'm a multi-potentialite or, or not? <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, up to now, up to now, since I haven't, uh, since the day I discovered the word, I haven't changed uh, any of the companies. So, okay. till now, so I next time. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. And the day I discovered this word, I actually put it on my LinkedIn. You can go to my Facebook. You will see in the bio. The, the it's bio. everywhere. Yeah. It's everywhere. I it's everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And I think at some point in the near future, corporates should understand that us people mm -hmm. have great value for their corporations and that we're not specialists and that we're not staying for 30 years at their company, but we can do other things that is amazing. And like I told you yesterday, head of chaos with the ing bank if you're if you're <laughs> yeah. the head of chaos at ing bank or whatever big corporate firm it's amazing because this is what we do best we solve problems we connect the dots and 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 we do that i think very fast and faster than specialized people that are doing one thing i saw a remark yesterday on my linkedin uh, mm -hmm. story somewhere and someone said oh god you know can you imagine just doing one thing, just having one specialty and you're missing out on all these other things? You know, uh, that's true. So we're happy we're a multi potentialite, right? Yes. So and uh, just, uh, when you were sharing the head of chaos incident, so I, I, I sometimes wonder how the guy, how the person actually feels like when every single morning he wakes up from bed, takes his coffee and he's thinking, hey, I, I am the head of chaos of an international bank. And, and it gives you, it automatically gives you that that energy, that drive to do something good on that particular day. So this is this is yeah. something I believe all the corporates should rename each and every of the designation and come up with interesting ones. I think I think 
for him, it's it's the same thing as public speaking, you know, to go to your office <laughs> where it says head of chaos, like, oh my God, all the chaos of the company is getting there. And and it's like public speaking, you know, every all the attention is going to that point. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. And I think you also told me yesterday that you have a lot of beginner's luck, Chopin, that you're yeah. always yeah. lucky. So yeah. <laughs> I, and I've been thinking about that. So every time I do an interview like this, I, I make these little note cards and I write down everything you're saying and, oh, that's yeah. interesting. And you, so I wrote down beginner's luck and I was thinking, that's something that is also connected to being a multi-potentialite because I believe, and maybe I'm wrong, and maybe some people can now uh, write a remark underneath the video about their beginner's luck. But I think us people have a lot of beginner's luck. Yes, absolutely. Cool, cool, cool. But cool. Why, why is this that we have so much luck in the world and that we do something and immediately it's fun, it's, it's going well. And yeah. what is that? What is your beginner's luck? Is this something well, you just, what is this? Well, in this case, uh, this is kind of like a mystery that uh, the scientists probably can, can be related with the story that scientists are researching on parallel universe and stuff. So yeah. still now I yeah. don't have any particular answers that uh, how does this thing work? But I purely believe that uh, I have even tested it out myself, like going to different events, which I have never heard of, different competitive events. And on the very first uh, trial of my uh, my cap capabilities, it, it suddenly clicked. And I am see within seconds, I'm seeing, okay, I'm on the finals or I'm about to present. So this is something very mysterious, but yes, it, it do do adds a lot of values and perks to your act daily activities. I think it I think it has to do with our multipotentialite brain and that we have these connections and that it goes faster and that's why we have more beginner's luck. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, we I need have to find out. One, one inside. I have particularly one inside. You see, Perry, uh, this this was uh, this was back at 2014, probably one of the live show events uh, where there was this uh, uh, there was this famous stand-up comedian in our country, Navid Mahmoud. So I attended this one of his sessions. So uh, the comedian he was saying that no experiences in life are worthless or or, or are of zero value. If oh. you have experiences, you can. You might not be able to use that experience right away, but some point in your life, your fate and uh, and the situation will have to bring that experience from you, and then you can use it and uh, turn it into a good thing. So, what I believe, as multipotentialites such as uh, ourselves, as we are engaged with a lot of activities, mm -hmm. so we are doing this, we are doing that, so we are we are continuously filling out, out our brains with experiences and observing things and doing things. So this is being stored in our brain, and um, in the in the later life or in the future, when you are working and you are stuck with something, some problem, maybe you can go back to that past incident and pick up that experience, pick up that memory that hey, I have witnessed or experienced that before. So maybe I, if I use this strategy, I, it might work out, and it actually did. It actually did. Of course, yeah. So we need to do we need to even do more things than we're already doing. Yeah. <laughs> the more the better, the more interesting our life will be and the more fun we will have. And, and thinking about that, Chopin, what is, what is your, you're 26, you will turn 27 soon. What's, what's your dream? Where do you want to go? What, what do you have in mind for your life? Because you just started for crying out loud and you're already, yeah. <laughs> you know, a public speaker, you have a good job, you're, you're creating things, you do video editing. I saw your video, you created it yourself, yeah. super cool. Yeah. And so you're doing all these cool things already. What's, yeah. what will happen even more for you? What, so uh, what's if your dream? If you, if you ask me what's my uh, lifelong dream or maybe what, uh, where I see myself after 10 or 20 years, I believe in a uh, particular philosophy is not to look very far away, focus on the, on, uh, focus what's uh, nearby, focus on mm -hmm. maybe 
what's nearby within the next two or five years. So I simply follow a strategy of whether rather looking into life uh, 10 or 20 years long, I need to look at life where I can, I see myself, where do I stand after two or two years or five years down the line? And the, uh, the strategy worked in my life. And uh, if you ask me, my vision is to portray a life where I become a freelancing trainer, a speaker, a host, an anchor, all, all together combined and uh, create myself as a brand, as a freelancing brand so that I get to, I get to uh, book an appointment to a session or maybe get called. Uh, I'm staying here in Bangladesh. Maybe I get called into Dubai. Maybe I go to Europe, attend some session, meet with a lot of people, express my idea, give a good presentation. And yes, people get benefited by it. People get to learn things, learn cool things. And yes, so me being a trainer would ensure me to travel all across the globe. So that's the vision that I have. I love that. It's beautiful. And making my, and, making and, Obham Chaudhuri as a brand. Yeah. And you're already doing it. So this is going little to by work. Little, little by little. Little. But, but this is how it works, right? Yeah. I have a dream yeah. too. I, when, I have a dream too. When you were saying this, I was thinking, and I, and I saw your private video this morning about the rooftop. And, and I'm thinking about my time in China and I'm thinking of Bangladesh and I love traveling and meeting people. So we have something in common there. And yes. um, so I have a dream. Maybe one day we can give a seminar together in Bangladesh. Oh my God, you just spoke my For mind. multipotentialites <laughs> to yeah. share our thinking with people that might be a multipotentialite as well. And they want to find out if they're a multipotentialite and what to do with that. So I want to have a seminar together with you in Bangladesh. And I want you yeah. to come to Europe as well and that we do a, a seminar here in, in Europe together as well. So yes. let's aim for that. Let's do yes, something absolutely. together, one time in Bangladesh and another time in Europe. I think that yes, would be absolutely. A, a nice thing. Uh, and you know, when, when you were telling this idea right now, I was just thinking, hey, maybe there are a lot of challenges. Maybe I can go there. No, I was thinking, I, me and Perry, today we are interviewing. The next day, the next event that we might be, we'll be standing uh, physically in person and then giving, taking a session. Because all the multipotential ad has one thing in common that I believe, they never take things for granted and as impossible. They no. always think that this is possible. This yeah. can be done. And, and it's nice because multis always find solutions. So if we yeah. want to make something happen, we find a solution. It can take yes. a little while. Oh we can focus all of a sudden on something else that happens a lot as well. You're, you're, yeah. you're doing one thing and this is what I want to do. And then all of a sudden you're there and you're doing something else, but I always come back. So let's aim for them. I yes, love that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much for um, our talk, our interview about being a multi Thanks go a big thanks goes to you. You are doing such a commendable job, such a wonderful job initiative, and I love the idea. And I got to see a lot of the people's interview all across the globe, and I got to realize, hey, in that country there are a lot of multipotentialites. I didn't even know. And and I'm going to link that all together. This weekend yeah. I will interview someone in South Africa. Um, you know, so I love to travel, and for me. It feels like I'm traveling right now. I'm traveling to Bangladesh and have a conversation with you. And, and it's, it's interesting and to talk to you and to, to hear from you how it works for you in your life in Bangladesh and, and, and to see you this weekend I'm in South Africa and I'm at home, I'm using Zoom. I'm staying inside, I'm not yeah. flying, I'm not <laughs> polluting the air, I'm just staying here. Yeah. So maybe we can do a seminar in the near future by Zoom. We can do that as well uh, to yes. start with. I love this. It, it creates so many opportunities. It makes it so easy. I don't have to fly to Bangladesh to meet you. I would love to, but this is already super cool for me. So thank you very much, Chopin. I want to thank you. Well, thanks we'll, goes to you. We'll be in touch. And we will make it happen at some point. 
And yeah. Um, yeah, looking forward to it, Barry. And, and make yeah, sure uh, you Barry, explain you a lot. Of, sorry. Yeah. yeah. If Go you, for it. If you allow me to add, uh, it would be much more convenient when you come across Bangladesh. Do come over to this beautiful country. It has I a will. lot of things, interesting stories to share with you, the country itself. So I run a very in, uh, small scale uh, platform called the Speakers Corner, where all the public speakers gather around, take a session or an event. So once you come in Bangladesh, we'll be doing a big scale program, inshallah. We will do that. Thank yeah. you so much. See you Thank soon. Thank you so much for inviting me, Perry. And um, stay safe, make it happen, and explain to a lot of people what it is to be a multipotential. <laughs> yes. I love that. That's, Thank you. That's our responsibility. Yeah. Thank Perfect. you so much, Perry. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you.